Hi. Now in part B of this question, we're asked to find the speed of the particles after six seconds. And in the previous part, we were asked to calculate the acceleration, which we found out to be 1.25 meters per second per second. So how do we go about finding the speed then? Well, this is clearly a SUVAT based problem. Remember, when you've got SUVAT type equations, S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A the acceleration, and T is the time. Well, we're not interested in how far these particles have covered, but we do know that initially, it's set up here, initially the rod and the particles were at rest. So we know that over here, say somewhere, when t was equal to zero, there was, they were at rest, that's zero meters per second, when t was equal to zero. And then over here, when t equals six, they've gained a particular speed, v meters per second. So we just need to substitute u as zero, so we've got u as zero, we know v, well, we don't, I say we know v, sorry, that's what we're trying to find. We know the acceleration because we found that in the previous part. That was 1.25. And as for the time, we're looking at that final velocity after six seconds. So what equation connects u, v, a, and t? Well, we should be familiar with the fact that it is v, equals u plus a t. And so all we need to do is just substitute our values in. So it follows from that equation that v must be equal to u, which we know is zero, so we can just leave that out. And we've got a, which is 1.25, multiplied by the time t, which is six seconds. And if you do that, v turns out to be 7.5 meters per second. Okay?